Hi gang, welcome to reaction videos. I'm wearing the same thing because it's the same day. Fun times. Let's keep going. Okay, BQ or bust, 018, the sports bra squad is born. Whoa! What? Oh my God, it's what an eel. What is that? Cool. New York City fisherman. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It. Oh my God, what is this? Eight o'clock. Look at this angle. On Sunday, June 26th. And I. If there's one thing I'm good for, it is filming myself right when I wake up when my hair is doing really crazy shit. <laughs> I was supposed to get up at five o'clock so that I could run at six o'clock. But that didn't happen because I couldn't get up this morning. Oh my God, I was not a morning person. All right. 13 miles today. 13. I normally know if it's going to be a good or a bad day when I wake up. And I'm not dreading this 13 miles. Look at my room. What a nightmare. So it may be a good day. Let's get ready. <laughs> Where is that water bottle? song ever oh my god look at that setup oh god it's hot <sighs> all right 13 miles what i would give right now to be able to run GPS. 13 miles <laughs> GPS. i have so much fitness to gain i like can barely do six right now i hated that watch that watch was the worst watch I can't believe I'm running in capris. It has to be like 90 something degrees. It's so humid. I remember this day. I just remember. Drills. What are these arms? <sighs> so this clip I've seen about a bajillion times because I always have to cut it. I don't think I've ever run with my shirt off, but it's so hot. I'm so insecure about running my sports bra, but I need to get over it. We're doing it. Oh, there's no awe. Actually, that shirt is so small and light, it might fit in my water bottle. That's awesome. Let's go. You know. Okay, here's the story. I was going to tell the story a little while ago. So, New Balance. New Balance Women was doing some a part, little partnership with me for, it was called Why We Sweat. Hashtag Why We Sweat. And in that video, uh, I realized that like one of the biggest things was this. This is why I run. I sweat because I'm done feeling insecure and disappointed with what I see when I look in the mirror. I spent decades sweating so that I could hit a goal weight and look desirable for other people. But running taught me that confidence isn't something that comes from looking a certain way. Confidence is something you work for every single day. Running and chasing impossible goals is anything but easy. In fact, it's really hard. But pushing myself to put my strongest foot forward showed me that sweating isn't about looking a certain way, it's about feeling a certain way. Strong, unstoppable, motivated, proud, confident, and happy. I run and I sweat for me and me alone so that I can feel proud of my body, flaws and all, because I know that I'm fighting to put my strongest foot forward. That is why I sweat. What about you? Yes. <sighs> and I reached out to them and after I came up with the Sports Bar Squad and saw all the comments. And I was like, I, I had this thing called the Sports Bar Squad. And I really think it's going to be like this, this really rad thing. Like, do you want to do something with it? And they said no. <laughs> they didn't think it was, it was interesting. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. Let's zoom watch. I was reading an article yesterday that Cosmopolitan Magazine put out about Hillary Duff, and she was giving her fitness tips on how she has her banging body. Oh my God, look at my awesome. boobs. She that does. sports bra is awful. Her body looks phenomenal. She looks so strong and healthy. But one of her tips was like, you just have to do it. You don't have to like it. 
There are so many different types of people in the world. So if you're one of those people who just needs to get it over with, like go for it. But if you're someone who hates working out. It is mortifying to watch me run in a sports bra that's not supportive. Oh. Don't do that. Find something that you actually like. Like give something a month before you decide, but why would you waste your time doing something you don't like? True. There's so many options. Just my two cents. Well, and everybody works out because they need, think the they need to lose weight. They're not doing it for all the incredible so. It's just surreal having this be a part of your normal run. I just think that the every time. I'm being finished. I love the bridges. <laughs> New York City is the best place to run. The trick to running the Brooklyn Bridge is going really early before people are up, but it looks mobbed. True. It's such a nightmare. Oh, I remember one of the first weeks of uh, stay-at-home orders during coronavirus, or maybe it was after stay-at-home orders. I have this like picture of the Brooklyn Bridge and it was so crazy crowded. And I was like, we're fucked. Cool car. Manhattan. Four and a half miles in. How I run is very dependent on weather. So like in the summer, oftentimes I would do point to point. So I'd start at my house and go somewhere far uptown, maybe see my sister, and then subway home. This is my favorite, one of my favorite uh, places in New York. It's under construction right now, but I can't do this in winter because I'd freeze my ass off and die. Yeah, let's keep going. I can't believe I'm still wearing pants. This is the West Side Highway. I'm to see if this pier goes all the way around. So you can like run piers. Which has my favorite spot in all of New York. It's closed right now. Favorite pier has a really beautiful view. Why not? This pier does not go all the way around. Nope. Oh wait, maybe it does. Whoa! What is that? Dance breaks. I remember there were lots of comments being like, you're not a real runner, you take dance breaks. It was so weird. And I was like, what? Halfway there. We're not even training yet. Let's keep going. And I was really dancing because I was so freaked out about being in my sports bra. Just convinced that people were gonna say horrible things to me. Oh, Vega. Everyone used to comment, you can't stop on your long runs. You have to keep running. And I was like, what am I gonna do when I have to fucking refill my water bottle? See how like humid it is? Ah, it's hot. Eight miles in. 11 miles down, two to go. I am over it now. Whenever I would get near people, I would take my music out. So I was convinced that someone was going to say something horrible to me and I had to be ready. Whew. 13. Done. Didn't they go to Chipotle? Oh, no, I look like I'm uptown. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're on the Upper oh. East Side? 13 miles done. Now we bike to Smoothie. Yeah, so I think I bike back downtown. This is not my best idea. I think I go downstairs, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, where was I? Boat Basin? So you see how I'm going faster on my city bike than most people on their normal bike? And then I think I do go to Chipotle. I did. First day that I ran 13 since the Airbnb Brooklyn uh, half marathon a month ago. And it was a great run. It was really good. I was in my brain. I remember this audio was so jacked up and I had to really like fix it. I didn't do a great job. I check out or distract myself or be doing something, concentrate on something else other than running. And I think that's part of the reason why I am having such a hard time. God, it's so crazy to see people walking around in groups without masks on. Because when I have to be aware of every single second in a race, being aware of my time, being aware of my pain and discomfort, like it's so much easier to try to like focus on something else. And you can't do that when you're running at a higher caliber. At a higher so caliber. So it's an interesting little 
connection that happened today because, I mean, today was so awesome because I just kind of ran according to my body. And because this week was kind of like a man week, like I didn't do my track workout on Thursday, I ran hard yesterday, but like my legs weren't dead today. I felt totally fresh and fine. But I'm excited. I'm excited to keep picking it up in this next week. We do the next one. Uh, nope. Jumping in here. Uh, bedtime. But before I go to bed, I wanted to very quickly do an outro because, uh, this video was long and the next two are long. So I'm actually doing the next two together in this guy's standalone because, uh, come on, sports bra squad. It needs a little. It needs like a designated outro, right? Uh, it's crazy to watch the sports bra squad be born like that and like be NBD because it turned into such a such an impactful movement and like the bread and butter of uh the badass lady gang like it is one of the pillars of our of our community right redefining what strength looks like and uh you'll see over the next couple of months like it takes me forever to feel comfortable running in my sports bra <laughs> truly and uh really uh find the courage to work on my relationship with my body image. I mean, you hear it in the next episode, I talk about getting home and have it, I, I say I normally have a smoothie for dinner, which is disordered eating. Like I, I ate very little during this and it was all very controlled and um, that's hard, it's hard to watch. But Sports Bra Squad changed my life, truly. So that's it for now, the end.